Hello ladies and gentlemen, I recently acquired enough Castle Wars tickets to buy myself a Zamorak Halo. Now you can get any Halo you prefer, um, and you are not bound to the choice you make. Watch, I sell the Zamorak Halo, I can buy the Ceridoman Halo, it doesn't matter. Whichever god you prefer, all the stats are the same, they cost the same, everything is the same. Uh, literally nothing matters. So. Uh, a little overview, what is the Zamorak Halo? It is a Castle Wars uh, reward, although I believe it is one of, man, I mean, there's no one of best in slot, but it is one of the best in slot items. Uh, it's plus 10 in all defense bonuses, except strangely negative in range, although everything has to have its downside, which is its range defense. Although, if you think about it, it doesn't really matter. You can sit on it for a while, think about it. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Now, the big deal, plus three prayer. Now, that is quite convenient for prayer. Um, if you don't have prayer, probably not nearly as worth it. Uh, or at least that's what I was told. Uh, plus three prayer is not gonna make a big difference. Uh, I can guarantee that. Um, but it is better than nothing, I suppose and it is quite good so that is the overview of it it costs 300 castle wars tickets so let's crunch some numbers 300 castle wars tickets divided by three tickets a game if you win by a landslide that is 100 games 100 games times 20 minutes a piece is 2000 minutes 2000 minutes divided by 60 minutes an hour is 33 hours minimum now, let's be realistic. Let's say you average, uh, I don't know, 1.5 tickets a game. So what is 300 divided by 1.5 is 200. So that's 200 games times 20 minutes is 4,000 minutes divided by uh, 60 minutes. So that's, uh, that is 65 to 70 hours, well, yeah, probably I'd say 60 hours to grind this Halo. Now that's that isn't just playtime. That is that is 60 hours of Castle Wars. Now that is a hell of a requirement in my opinion. It personally took me over two weeks. Uh, almost four or five of those days was literally for many many hours a day just camping at Castle Wars. Now, you can make the most out of Castle Wars. To put it in perspective, for me to get 300 tickets, I degraded every single crystal bow down to 180k. And I gained four range levels from 70 to 74, and I gained almost 10 mage levels. Um, spent millions on death runes, and yeah. So, if that puts it in perspective of how long it took me, now again, you can make the most you want out of Castle Wars. If you have Ancients, you can gain tons of XP from Castle Wars. Is it worth it? Man, I don't know. It's awfully tight. That was a lot of grinding. Personally, I didn't mind it. Really wanted the Halo. I'm so down for best in slot. I can't tell you if it's worth it. That grind is way too much for some people. What is worth it? These decorative tops. Now. These are 80 tickets a piece. They are 80 tickets a piece plus 20 in all your defense bonuses. That is so nuts for a pure man. Both the decorative tops are the same. The range top is all the same, so it literally just comes down to what you think is pimper. So let's check the top, shall we? Um, I've actually never bought the decorative on a plate. I need a defense level 5. So don't even buy that, you can't if you are pure. Any of these items you can buy and sell and trade. I've been using decorative armor more recently. Um, I'm trying to grind up for both, because I think having both would a million percent be worth it. Now do keep in mind, on your way to grinding the Zamorak Halo, since you can't even wear a headpiece, you can buy these and resell them at any time. So you can use this as a placeholder and use it as a decent defense bonus while you grind up, which is exactly what I did. I owned all these robes and fucked around with them until I could afford the halo. 
And frankly, I want them back because I fell in love with them much more than Halo. Because, I mean, that hat, dude. That hat is... It's too much. Uh, so is it worth it? Couldn't tell you. That's up for you to decide. I personally only really think so, because once you have it, what else do you need to do? You don't. Uh, I think the bear helmet is very similar. Might even be a little better. Uh, which is free and easy to get. Much, much easier to get than the Halo, but the Halo is sweet. One thing that needs to be mentioned is under 20 Wilderness, it will not be lost. You can go and reclaim it. However, it will be broken and it costs 25k to repair, which is good and bad. Good because you risk 25k cash every time you are killed. That is pretty good. People are going to want to fight you. Um, however, downside of it, obviously when you die, you lose out on 25k. Uh, which can be annoying if you die as often as, say, oh, I don't know, me. Uh, I'm actually going to go uh, do a couple games of Castle Wars, I think.